So it is totally raining its butt off here today, but I have to show you, there's like these bottom skim skimmers in my pond, and when I walk up, they hide. I don't know if you'll see one or not here. Maybe, there was one, see, oh, there's a couple of them. See, there's one on the side over there, if I can zoom in on it. See it right on the side right there? Let's see if I can make him move. And he don't care. I don't know what those are. Looks like a snossage. <laughs> My phone's getting wet. I can't make him move. I can't scare him up. There he goes. Did you see him? I hope you saw him. Fine that somebody gave me. I tried to save. Um, it didn't. It didn't work. I mean, the leaves on it didn't come back. But it's supposed to be a perennial in some places. These are the seeds right here. See, they're like little berries. You can eat those berries too, but they don't taste like anything. But see where the seeds have been dropping, a whole bunch of new vines have come up here at the bottom. So I can eat these right now if I wanted to, but I'm not going to because I want them to grow up. And I just drop berries on them. And there's a pepper plant right there. But this stuff is so good, the Malabar spinach. It's like a lot thicker than regular spinach. And see, it's got the red stem on it. Bright, bright, uh, bright red stems. And there's also a variety that's completely green, the stems and the leaves. And you can eat the whole plant. Um, you can eat the berries and the leaves. And the leaves are thicker. They call them mucilinogic or whatever. I don't even know how to say that. But, uh, like, if you cut them up, like, shred them up, and then try to wash them, it's like slime in your fingers. But if you just wash them without tearing them up, it's just like regular spinach. And they get these flowers on them. That's what turns into the berries. Um, actually, I don't see any flowers right now. Oh, yeah, I do right here. Wait a Get my phone on them. My phone is really getting wet. That's not good. There's some flowers. And you can eat those too. And pretty neat plant. I have some pretty good Nana peppers going. Sweet banana peppers. I wish it wasn't raining today. Although I did need the rain. But as you can see, they're bigger, way bigger than my hand now. And I only have five plants. I got one, two, three, I'm two zoomed in. Four right here. And then there's one way across there over there. See all the peppers? And you know, that's all I really need. I mean, I don't, I don't need that many of anything. I mean, cause it's just me here and yeah, I like to cook a lot and I like to freeze a lot of things just for individual, I hear sirens. <laughs> Somebody probably got in an accident because of the uh, rain. People have a tendency not to be able to, you know, use their brakes around here. It's like, no brakes! But, uh, I don't need that much, you know, to survive just on my own as far as food goes. I wish I could grow cows in here. So, just something silly. I found this the other day. It's I think from the 1960s and it's kind of rusty on top but it's really solid still and I don't know if I can dremel that out or if I should even bother but it's missing its tray in there it didn't have anything in it but a shotgun shell that wasn't expended it's, it's, but it's missing its tray in there but it's really solid besides that and since all my tools, like all my cutters and hammers and screwdrivers and everything are in buckets currently, I figured, hey, why not keep this? <laughs> so if anybody has any ideas like how I could like redo the surface of it, it took me forever to find one exactly like this to figure out when it was from because this on most of them has like a red background like the later models but this was like a 1960s version of it that felt like it was peeling off no it's not it's like tape sticking on there or something 
But um, if anybody has any ideas about resurfacing this, I don't, I don't know. Were they like, okay, you're in my video, but yes, you're very cute. Were they originally painted? Because, I mean, it looks like, you know, even though there's some rust right here, I mean, were they painted this color? Or is that just, actually, this is just metal? I don't know. Or if I should even do anything to it? What do you think? So I got an abundance of, um, I can't think because the garbage truck's going by outside. I'm one of those people that can't walk and chew gum at the same time. Um, I, I got a abundance of uh, zucchinis and I found out you can make them just like dill pickles. So. Yesterday, because I couldn't find any cloths and dill pickles, which I love, um, I bought a bag of, hi baby girl, hey look up at the camera, baby girl, baby girl, she's ignoring me, why do cats ignore you, they just do, baby girl, baby girl, you, okay, never mind, but, um, so I found an abundance of zucchinis and some bachelor button seeds in here and some these purple beans that are, didn't grow very good. I keep being hopeful. I keep growing them over and over again. There's a little screw in there and a yes or no coin. What should we ask of the coin? Um, let's see, uh, what should I get? Am I going to get rich beyond my wildest dreams in 2021? Let's see. It probably says no. <laughs> no. <laughs> well, no big disappointment there. Wait, let's see. Am I going to get rich beyond somebody else's wildest dreams in 2021? No. <laughs> Am I going to be overly happy in 2021? Yes. Hey, I'll take it. <laughs> okay. But anyways, I'm going to, I was at the store yesterday and I couldn't find any cloths and dill pickles. So I bought a little bag of organic, um, pickling cucumbers and so I'm going to make a bunch of dill pickles later today with zucchinis and cucumbers because it's too hot to grow cucumbers here right now here's the seeds I saved from those Japanese long beans I got a ton of them I gave some of them away so but anyways I'm going to do that later on got a lot of work to do first